Welcome to our demo video of the Construction Management app, where we will take you through a live demonstration of the app's features and functionality. If you are a business owner in the construction industry and are looking for ways to digitize your operations, then this video is specifically tailored for you. In the next few minutes, you'll discover how our app can help streamline your construction projects, increase efficiency, and save you time and money. In this video I will cover admin panel, dispatcher panel, customer website, and driver app. We begin with the admin panel. To start, the first admin has to access the admin panel with login credentials. Once you log in on the top of the admin panel you can view the logo, language settings. In the admin panel we have four sections including orders, settings, marketing and extra. Under these sections we have parts as you can see in orders section we have dashboard, where you can view analytics as number of customers, orders, total revenue earned, number of products available for customers, along with the graphical representation of the revenue for monthly and weekly with location. Next we have orders, where you can view the details of pending orders, active orders, and order history with return requests, and cancel order requests which can be filtered by date and vendor name. After orders the third part is of vendors where you can view the total number of vendors, open vendors, total products and total active orders. You can also view the details of vendors even if they are active or either awaiting for approval or blocked. Below orders is accounting where you can view details of orders, with the details of customers and total cash to be collected and delivery fees. You can also export the data in a CSV file. Next is loyalty cards, where you can view the type of loyalty card applied, earned, spent and unique orders, with the details of customer with their order ID, which can be filtered by date, loyalty card type and payment type. Next is the section of promo codes with the details of admin total paid, vendor promo codes, unique users to use promo code, with all the details. Then you have taxes with the details of type of taxes applied and taxes collected. You can also order ID, customer name, tax amount, payment method and all other details. Next you have vendors where you can view the total order value, delivery fees and admin commissions, with all other details. Below that you have payout requests, you can view the order value, pending payout value and completed payout value here. Next is order refunds. Here you can view all the refunded product details, with customer name, email, phone order number, translation it and all other details. Next is subscription discount here you can see total subscription discount, subscription discount on admin's account and on vendor's account. You can also view all the details like order number, customer, vendor name and all other details. After accounting we have a part of customers where you can view the account of active users, inactive users with social login count. You can also view the details of customers with their image, name, user type, login type and all other details. Next we have reports, in reports we have products review and product performance report. Under product reviews you can view the details of product name, average rating and all other things, and under product performance report, you can view top performing products, most wishlist products and most refunded product with all details. After dashboard we have a section of settings in this profile, here you can select the theme type, name, email, contact number, company address, time zone and the same will be reflected on the customer app. Next is customize, where you can customize your website content such as, date, time and currency, delivery time estimator, language and currencies, vendor type and on-demand services, links, nomenclature. Below that there is styling you can update app styling and web styling, where in app styling, you can change the font styles, color, tab bar style, tutorial images, homepage styles, likewise in web styling, you can change icons, color, modes, contact us page content, homepage styles, payment method icons and so on. The other part is CMS where you have pages, emails, notifications, SMS, reasons, in the section of pages you can add the data which you want to be shown on customer page, you have to add the title, description, content, and the same will be reflected on the user app. Through emails you can share the newsletter you only have to select the email type, add the subject, content and click on the publish button. Next with the notifications part you can share push notifications with your users, select the type of notification, add subject, content and publish. 
Next is SMS, through which you can easily share the SMS, it can be of any type, select SMS type, add content and publish. Last is reasons, select the reason, status, type, you can also delete it. After CMS we have the catalog part, where you can view the categories offered by you, if you want a new category click on the add category button, fill out the required details, and click on the submit button. Likewise you can view the variants in categories, you can also add a new variant from here. Below catalog there is configuration where you can edit the details of hyperlocal, social logins, map SMS emails, CRM and all other things. Next you have tax here you can manage the tax categories and tax rate. If you want to add a new category click on the add button, fill out the details, and click on the submit button. Next is payment options where you can select the payment method type, to enable a payment type you have to click on the enable button. Last under the settings section is delivery options, like we have Arroyo Dispatcher as our delivery partner. Third we have a section of marketing under the market dot we have a list of banners. Under banners there are web banners and mobile banners, under web banners you can view all the live banners with their details, and if you want to add a new banner click on the add button, fill out the required details and submit. Next is promo code from where you can view all the data related to the promo codes, and if you want to add a new one add it from here. After promo codes there are loyalty cards like promo codes you can view all the details related to loyalty cards here. Last under marketing is campaigns, where you can view the data related to campaigns, and you can add a new campaign from here. Last section is extra where we have tools and database audit logs. Under tools you can edit the catalog copy tool, tax copy tool. Last is database audit logs here you can view the data of authentication, client, user, products, vendors and orders. This is all about the admin panel, let's come to the dispatcher panel. Same as the admin panel to get access to the dispatcher panel, you have to access it with login credentials shared by admin. Once you log in there are two sections first is home, and second is settings. Under home we have dashboard, where you can view all online, offline and unassigned tasks with geographical view. After the dashboard we have customers here you can view the total no.of customers followed by active and inactive numbers. To add a new customer clock on the add customer button, fill out the required details and submit it. Saved one will be reflected here with all their details. Next is routes, here you can view the number of pending assignments, active orders, active customers and active agents. The detailed information will be reflected here. Last part under dispatcher is driver accountancy, here you can view the detailed information of drivers with the total amount of commissions. The second section is of settings in which we have profile where the vendor can make changes in their profile like profile pic, name, contact number, email address, country and password. Next we have a section of customize where vendors can customize their nomenclature, address, contact us page task completion proof requirements and so on. After that there are teams where you can view the information of team members. To add a new team click on this, fill out the details and submit. Next there are managers adding a new manager from here, and the details of that particular manager you can view from here. Next is agent here you can get to know the total number of agents, freelancers, employees, approved agents and unapproved agents, with their details. After that there is subscription here you can view the total subscribed agents in number and in percentage. With all the detailed information. Add a new plan from here. Next is payout requests where you can get to know total order value, pending payout value and completed payout value with all their details. After payout requests there are payment options where you can enable any payment type you want to. With Geofence you can view the geographical view of Geofence, or you can add new to from here. After that there is auto allocation, through which the task will be automatically allocated to the users according to Geofence. You can edit the details of the allocation process and click on the update button. Next there are pricing rules to select on what basis you want to charge from your users. Below that there is configure, you can view map, SMS and emails here with available agents and all other details. Under CMS we have sub parts in which first is pages where you can view the content of terms and conditions shown on the user app, you can edit that, enter the content and publish it. After pages their email through which you can share newsletter with, enter subject, content and publish the content. 
Last part of the CMS is SMS to share, enter the templated content and publish it. After that there is analytics where you can view the platform earning, agents earning, order, and agents, with the details of agents and customers. Lastly we have notifications to share with users it can be of pickup, drop-off, appointment, and customer delivery OTP. This is all about the dispatcher panel, now let's come to the customer app and website. This is the user interface of the customer website. On top of the website there is a map and search bar, with that there is a card and other details. You can view the banners, after that there's a listing of products with featured product details, new products, on sale products, best sellers and vendors. If a customer wants to make a purchase they have to click on the product, add the product in cart, click on the next button, user can add specific requirements if they have any, click on the continue button, add address, place order after selecting payment method and the request will be reflected on the admin panel where they can accept it. Now let's comes to the driver app. Once logged in they can view the list of today's tasks and all tasks. From this button they can set their availability status either offline or online. From here they can view their task history. Below that there's a profile part here you can update your profile or whether you can delete your account from here. Next there is the settings section for where you can select the language. Next is the wallet where the driver can view the lifetime earnings and current balance along with transaction history. Drivers can add money from here. Drivers can view payouts, past payouts, available funds with transaction history. From here you can maintain the payout. Next is the contact page where the driver can contact you directly regarding any query. Next is the support section. Below that chat room where the chat between the customer and the driver was held. From here they can log out from their account. We hope that you found this demo informative and valuable. If you're interested in creating your own construction management app to streamline your construction operations, then we invite you to schedule a free consultation and demo session with us by clicking on the link provided in the video description below. Our team of experts will be happy to answer any questions you may have and provide you with a personalized demo tailored to your business needs. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.